Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Hasha Plays, and welcome back to another epic episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Thank you so much for watching this episode. There's going to be a lot that we will be doing in this episode, so hope you stick around and enjoy the show. Um, yes, we're in Hogsmeade at the moment. Um, I think I came here to sell some beasts to this woman. We're going to go back to Hogwarts now, so I've got some good news. I, after the last episode I recorded, so I can't remember when that was... I ran around the Hogwarts and I did find the final cabinet. So, we have all the keys to get into Gryffindor room and we get to, um, we get the chest, but, uh, I, I just can't remember where the, there we go, there it is. I'm actually excited to see what's in it, to be honest, because, you know, I've been running around like a crazy headless beast searching for it all this time. Um, but now I need just to need to remember where in this room. Ah, yeah, there is. Another house token for the house chest. Oh, this is going to take forever. Fine, put it in. Late. No, I can't. This add. Dedalian keys challenge is coming along nicely. Is it now, Rupert? Well, you'd be surprised if you weren't an AI or some That's brainless it. monkey. I'm I'm making good progress with those tokens. I think I have all of them. Another house token for the house chest. Here we go, the last house token. Time to see what's inside. Zero, 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 zero. Look at that. Gryffindor Thanks right. goes to the former headmistress, Eupraxia Mole. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, was that supposed to be something special? Because I, I didn't feel that was, that was special. Um, this one. Okay, that is pretty special. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do like that. Okay, so we have a few quests lined up today. Um, so the first of which is we go into the hall of Herodonia. So we, I found a quest of a, of a girl speaking about Ravenclaw's hall. It's a secret hall, something to call something. I actually did find it. I didn't go in just yet, of course, because, you know, I thought I would just wait. <laughs> so let's go, all of us, go experience it for the first time together. Cloak looks so good, man. I look so fancy. So this might be a secret area. Oh, of Herodiana. Be. No, Better go inside and find those puzzles. Herodiana. Herodiana. I'll try to Hero Revelio. Lumos. I'm about to see if Herodiana Burn was as good as Sophronia said she was. Okay. Revelio. That is what I see. A switch reset everything. Good to know. Okay, so. Wingardium Leviosa. No. I can pull them. Depulsor. Accio. Depulsor. I mean, this is not going to be very hard, I presume. This one. Oh no. That's never a good sign. Uh, I should have sold these things while I was in Hogsmeade. Too late now. I don't know how many chests there is going to be in here. But let's just make at least space for six slots. There we go. And we need more Vilsalma, of course. Let's 
us. Convulso! Revelio. Where am I going? So there's chests up there. I'm not gonna get those. Um, I'm not even sure if I have that spell. Yes, I do. Descender. I cannot. Depulsor. Descender. Accio. Dead? Yep, I died. Convulsa! Accio! like a, a thing that will block it. Composer! Akio! Composer! Akio! Composer! Akio! Composer! Akio! This is very reminiscent of Pokemon. My earlier, my earlier Pokemon games taught me how to do this. So, you know, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna brag and say I'm smart. I'm just gonna say thank you, Pokemon. Thank you for teaching me how to do this. Right there. Could be 
Wir warten. Gepulsert! Ach hier! Ah, am Michigan. Revelio, Depulsor. Making. That's the last of them. Seems like this must be the last piece of Herodiana's ensemble. 
It is remarkable. No wonder Sophronia wants to see this. That's that. I mean, we can look and have a look at it if we want to, but uh, I'm not. I'm not entirely sure it's something that I would wear. Did we get it as I? No, we didn't. We just got it as fashion item. So we got Tredonia's cloak. Got Tredonia's clothing. Um, I think we got. Yeah, we did. First, and then we got the hat. But I'm not freaking um, the Piper. I look like the Piper now. That looks just really good. Um, it's, it's always going to be this. This is just absolutely amazing looking. There we go. There we go. I, I'm happy like this. This is this is what makes me happy. I wasn't expecting to find it, um, one of those dungeons here. We, there's so many more dungeons that we have to com um, complete. Um, we'll have to get to, to them eventually. But some of them, I don't have all the spells just yet. I actually was playing, I think it was, yeah, I was playing yesterday or the day before. I don't know, depending on when, okay. So after the previous episode, because obviously these things are much later than you think. Um, after the previous episode, I played just casually going around and I was fighting against a Ashwinder and he used Reductor on me. And you don't even get Reductor in this game. It's such a waste. I wish they would have given to me. No, instead we get Bombarda, the Sophronia, I solved all the puzzles in the Hall of Herodiana. Incredible! Then you found Herodiana's outfit. May I see it? There we go. Have a look. Yes, for a fee, of course. Of course, but not for free. That wasn't easy. Of course, of course, I'd pay anything. Oh, how grand. You'll look as majestic as Herodiana herself, the greatest Depulso master of all time. You're my second favorite hero. Well, I don't like the sound of that, but okay. We're almost done with the game. We have seven more side quests to do, Sometimes and then 12 so main quests. Okay, so we have a main quest right above us, so we're going to attend that today. Um, we've done almost all the side quests that are, that are worth doing. So yeah, I want to go do the one of the main quests now, because it's a new spell. And also, it might unlock a few more chests. I just hope I'm going the right direction. I believe I am. Hello, Ghosty. Yes, we will. The Bastion, why do you see him? Could be my friend. So wants to speak to Adelaide you. Oaks, isn't it? I received your owl. Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. Oh, dear. You see. My uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumors that goblins may have been involved, well, I'm fearing the worst. Should I be worried about my uncle or am I overthinking this? Um, yeah, it should be worried. I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. Your uncle may be in trouble. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. She's convinced he can handle himself, but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. I... Uh, could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. Almost? That there's an insult. I'm I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Well, Thank met. you. He's very thorough in his record keeping, notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last owl, he drew me a map of his next stop. 
He planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. Perfect. I will be most gracious to help. Anyways, let's begin with our... I think it's a strategy class. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies. Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Wonderful. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no. Bring it into focus on your own. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very self-same stars above us. Is that clear? Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of this. It's kind of annoying listening to it. Hello! I don't believe we've met officially. I'm Amit. I'm something of an astronomy buff. Hello, Amit. It's nice to meet you. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. Thank you. How fine. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. Oh, yes. It's definitely. only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I. I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh. Reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Perfect. There are some <clears throat> hidden bridges still in the castle that is locked behind a I tried to put off my door. stargazing as long as I could. Uh, oh, this was his old telescope. <laughs> Looks practically brand new. <sighs> a pristine night for stargazing. Do not. He's so condescending. I don't like it. Anyways. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunar scope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes, I mean. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shah was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. Okay. And you need someone to help find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. No Is need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. it leads to Shall we? It's my pleasure.
Lumos. The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Oh. Hmm. A little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. Lumos. It's just not as uh, tidy. The pulse Lumos. Where's this guy? Come, friend. Okay. I'm just gonna go on hen. Okay. Good friend. Expelliarmus. Lumos. Luma. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders. Look, there's a table. Oh no. I've Not this close to school, I mean. Go on, try it out. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. Um, oh. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. Darn it. Lyra. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Oh, well, thank you. Ha, if you can say so, I look forward to that. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Okay, so I guess that's one more thing that I should be doing. I hope Adelaide's Uncle Roland is alright. She seems very worried. Adelaide mentioned her uncle's camp may be near Brockborough, past the river. That is not fun, the leisure tables. Okay, so... Then it is... So, exploration, I guess? So this just obviously popped up. One and five. I can't see how many more there is. So yeah, so if you look here, quests, we are 53% done. We'll be in main quest, it says three out of fourteen. So, you know. Only nine more to go. Oh, sorry, eleven more to go, and then we're done. I think I think it's gonna pop up more. Possibly. I don't know. But anyways, if I do sound do sound sad about that, yes I am. <laughs> I don't want to say anything. Um, grow and harvest flock food. I should still do that. Let's quickly go do that so we can end up the bend of us. I have learned of a wizard who is being harassed by Halo. He may be able to provide the evidence we need to take Halo down. We yeah. should speak with him together. Meet me at his home. Yeah, yeah, take it easy. I'll come down. Let me first go grow some Lux weed. I assume you have news regarding the goblin you mentioned. Why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that and our next steps? Yeah, I've been growing crazy, bros. I've been growing, growing like mad. I'm a brewmaster now. Okay, anyways, where's my, uh... Do I have any potting? No, no, no. I don't think I have. Okay. Um, herbology. Most excellent. Top's cave shouldn't be terribly far from that here. Deke has marked the area on your map. 
Litany seeds, meta sweets, not grass. I had blood sweet. It requires plant size, large plant, even in pot size. Okay, hold on. Uh, uh, the, 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 um, Sucks. Let's look at the map. We need to find obviously side quests that's gonna allow me to get that pot. Then otherwise we won't be able to proceed. Who says this is the lost child? Meet with Natalie. Okay. Um, there's a quest up there. Well, well, well. I haven't done that yet. I really want to go do that. I, I want to really do all these treasure vaults. But the thing is, they don't turn green after you've done them. So you know, you don't know. You don't always know exactly. Um, what it is that you've done and not have done. So, I'm just looking. There's an ancient magic hot spot right there. Um, you see, from all these that I've completed already, right? They don't turn green after I've done them. They just say why. And there's so many of them as well. That's it. Okay, I don't see any other quests, uh, Jackal's too been in there, so that, that didn't turn green either. I wish they would change that, I wish they would update that. But it shows, uh, it's, well, it's that simple. <laughs> okay. But now I don't think there's any side quests that's gonna give us what we need. Um, speak with Nanny up here, yeah, we can speak with uh, another race. Um, spoke to Deke as well, he has a thing for me, why I why I prefer a folks campsite, basically the well, okay, let's, uh, go on another side quest adventure again. <clears throat> it's not like I don't want to do the main quest, I just want to do everything, because I'm not sure how much time there's left in this game, and I don't want to, like, miss some quests because when the season changes, some quest disappears, I think. At least that's what happened. It's like a place right out of a storybook. I said that no, I'm not doing this. No, no. Why? 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 There should never be a reason why I'm using that. Away! Faster! The easiest thing to control, you know. Wanted more than a piece of meat pie. Hello. <coughs> Is anyone there? Hello. There's a voice coming from that well. <coughs> Can you help me? Is someone down there? Down there? I beg your pardon. I'm here. <coughs> There's no one here but me! <coughs> Some thoughtless wretch casually tossed a bit of parchment into me and <coughs> it caught! If you could please take it! <coughs> a treasure. Seems to be some sort of map. Okay, um, 
This could just be nice. Keep your body. Expel it off. Confringo. I regret that. Defender! Uh, Ascending! Uh, uh, Petrificus Totalic! Petrificus Totalic! Damn you! Expelliarmus! Confringo! Defender! I pressed Ominous regarding Salazar Slytherin Scriptorium, but my efforts were in vain. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We need to talk. Yes, okay. Are we there in a jeffy? Aha! I see you! Expelliarmus! Confringo! Stupid! You die! Defender! My conductor! You may grip! Incendio! I thought you'd at least hold your own! Expulso! You are not! Confringo! Defender! Expulso! Just here. For a dungeon. I came here for a dungeon and then these crazy people attacked me. Why can't I open this chest? It's, it's asking me, please, sir, could you open me just a bit more? Oh well. I think I did everyone a favor killing these guys. Lord's rid of a few more bastards. Revelio. There is my big chest. Got it. Got my big chest. Got my wonderful big chest. Go. Oh, up there it is. And now it shows a um a tick mark. Oh, Defender. Incendio. Sorry about your plates. I'm sure you can buy some more. We literally came here because there's a dungeon right there. There's also a Merlin trial. We can quickly do it. I think I have some Ella Sweet. I'm not sure. Hello. Oh. I wanted to call my broom. It didn't want me to. That is actually. Um, that is not my mistake. That was the game. I was absolutely the game. 100% the game. The game caused that. Ah. Oh, wow. In here. Ah. Get to destroy the place again. I'll use the broom for because it's just quicker to, you know, summon. Let's see so. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. And yeah, don't have enough. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, so these dungeons and band camps and them, they show big marks, but other things don't. That's kind of, kind of unfortunate. I'm gonna have to buy No, I can't enter while mounted. Alohomora. I knew I had some maximum questions. So I'm not sure what's going to happen down here. It's Lumos. I don't know if this is just one single chest again, or this is actual an actual dungeon. Well, the good thing is. Confringo! Incendio. Bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. 
Thomas. Confringo. Expelliarmus. Defender. Okay. We're cool. We have two balls of ancient magic all ready to be used. Lumos. Okay, so now does this get a tick mark? Because it's done, right? Wow. Or does it just disappear off the map? No, it kind of just disappear disappears off the map, doesn't it? I don't know. Lumos. Okay, I need to find that chest thing to open you. The good thing is, I'm a wizard. Revelio. Finding things is my forte. <laughs> We're also gonna need a lot of um, Lumgarium Liviflosa. Um, I honestly need to get rid of one of these spells over here i'm gonna get rid of that thing because you know it's very close range stupid. oh something trapped in here it's a little bunny okay I'm hello homora i'm not gonna capture you though Freedom, I guess. Wingardium Leviosa. Lumos. All of these things are exactly the same, even the same route you take. Okay, well at least that's Revelio. It's a bit more secrecy, so you know, work on this. And there's a bit more to this one than the others. Did that just work or did it just pop me out again? I didn't. Okay. Yeah. Glacius. Revelio. You can see the treasure. Confringo. That has something to do with this other one. Wingardium Leviosa. Accio. Capulso. Lumos. Not glaciers, it, though. Glaciers. It takes some engineering sometimes. I think I saw like I have a lot of these. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I hate destroying these things if it's just for one thing. Okay, let's go find a shop quickly. Anywhere close by would do, and then we go meet Sebastian. Dream of Sniper as well. Honestly, that was just absolutely, absolutely wonderful. What, how much value in that. Lumos. Amazing. I I couldn't, you know, life without that would have been incompleted. Man, that's horrible. Okay, so some, some things you complete disappear afterwards. So we, oh, I don't want that, man. Come on. There we go. It's just much faster, man. Honestly. Besides, it can run as well, so. Let's go! So, at Hogsmeade Station, there is a merchant, so I'm gonna go there. Thank you, 
behind us. Hi. You liking my majestic mounts? Mm, me too. <laughs> Time to go a little quicker. Slow down now. There we go. See if there's something in the. Oh yeah, just just yeah, sell everything I don't want. You know. Let me grab. We're rich. Look at us. I need to go back to the. Um, how long has it been? It's been yeah, it's been quite a while. This episode is been. Oh, 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 hold on. Uh, uh. Even though I can upgrade things, it's very expensive to upgrade them. Pleased to see Arn has his belongings back. Uh, Ranrock and his loyalists will think twice. Thank you for your patronage. Oh, absolutely. Okay, good idea. That's been a okay, pleasure. So quickly, 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 quickly. We'll go back to Hogwarts. We'll go to the room of requirements. Um, we'll just feed and pet all our little friends. And then, obviously, upgrade and equip also the things that we have that are stronger that I haven't done in a while. So this. Yeah, so this one is even up upgraded, so uh, on a, again, I uh, don't want anything on my face. Uh, I, I can't remember where the other one was. It's a cloak. Yeah, it's a cloak. That's pretty nice, but it's honestly not what I want, so yeah. Oh, and there we go. My friends, I'm here. Hello. Oh, yeah, guys. Okay, so we've just pressed eight. Uh, we can see everyone that needs food and care, and then it's the easiest way to do this. Eat. Friends. Friends, 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 friends. Okay, so I'm gonna make some changes. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make some changes. So I have Jeffrey. Um, I'm gonna, unfortunately, have to remove you. I'll look after you. I promise I'll look after you. I want my bird. I want my cat, man. So, but they take up more space than the others. So I have to, unfortunately, move some out. This is gonna be so decent. Back up and small. What, 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 not full. Okay, we'll get rid of another job. Uh, okay. Settle yourself. I mean, you know, home. What do you mean? Come on. Okay. Um, whatever. I don't know why it's doing that. So, actually, I have two specials, and I? I have a peculiar and Special. I don't know what the difference is between a special. Thank you. And this thing. Did I give the same? Speed. Brush you all right. Hello, hello. I wish I could I just add more, man. This is the most absolute serene thing you can do in this game. And then they limit you so much. What do you give? Okay, you give the same thing as that one. So unfortunately, my friend, I'm going to sell you. It's not in personal, of course. Professor Howen will never believe this. Uh, why can't I add can I add these? Species of interest cell bees that brood and peg to open space for the species in the vivarium. The vivarium is empty. I have eight slots. But you can only have four different species.
Okay, let's just quickly look at this. This, this light. Recycled. So, the breeding pen, a uh, piece, a large piece through, a, a large piece through that keeps your beast fed. And beast toy box. Okay, I already want to fire all this quickly. Um, I'll do it in the next episode. But is there no way to increase our capacity at all? so stupid man how can we have only four species okay um let's just push you away everything's all right now i want you and you i can just get from you as well hello you were difficult you were very difficult to catch and you you he was a mission <laughs> Measle fur is very important, so I need to find a lot more measles. So there's ways to increase um, the amount of species we can hold. Um, I need to do some side quests. I actually do have one of the side quests already available. Um, and it's his. So yeah, we're going to go meet some bass here now, and that will be the final quest for this, um, for this uh, episode. Sorry, I'm in. And uh, meets it. There we go. So fast here. We're very close to learning some of the unforgivable curses. Just we're very close to the end of the game. I don't know. I don't know how to check. Because um, new quests and stuff appear. And I, I've played 20 hours by now. But obviously, most of it has been spent look, roaming around. <laughs> I've never been to the, um, the Slytherin um, uh, common rooms. Our next play, obviously, I'm gonna play on um, on Slytherin, and I'm gonna play on the hard, at the second hardest difficulty, and then I'm gonna play another playthrough on Hufflepuff on the hardest difficulty. Um, probably will stream one of those too as well. Probably the Hufflepuff one because who wants to see me play on the second hardest difficulty? Sebastian, my love, no, okay, I don't exist to you, do I? No, okay. I just fly from here. I can't. No. It's been easy if I could just fly from here. Oh, how fun is Where is the silver and common room? Can't catch bees! <laughs> I know they show it in the movies once. I think in the the second movie when they were doing the um the potions. Ah. Here it is behind this wall, probably. That's You're here. Of Brilliant. Of course, Sebastian. You call, I come. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I'll kill him. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. Take me. He's this way. Take me, Sebastian. Show me the way. Lumos. Keep an eye out. Never know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. Come, Sebastian. Move. There he is. Good luck. What are you doing here? Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? I owe you an apology, Ominous. I wasn't honest with you before about the Undercroft. Sebastian did show it to me. He wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells, to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about, what was it, a scriptorium? 
He told you about that? He did. We were talking about Hogwarts founders and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more, though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favourite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. She didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pureblood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. That's a bit unnerving. I suppose even if it might lead to answers about what happened to your aunt, it does pose a risk. Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honour her memory, get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here, and I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. No, fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. I hope I... we don't regret this. Conf Sebastian! Over here! These braves blood bags. The script Something's happening. I hope we're ready for this. Oh, that was easy. Dark, ominous, lumos. My favourite. No comment. Come on, that was a good oh one. Oh my god, is it actually happening the first time I can Prepare on. I've added a spell to the game and it has to be Rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. I must bring my point, we do not need must to be the voice I hear. I'm going to when I re reach the scriptorium, I'll find evidence of this multi cells or something, then we realise. I run to my brother, he knows what I have uh, access to the corridor's entrance and that there is no shape out to reach the scriptorium with the maid and challenges to solve. Hopefully my brother will follow my lead and we can study our ancestors take us again and after all want. Want, want. The voice is ancient. You hear a voice. It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I'd like to be able to talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak parcel tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. Not at all. I see no reason we should stop now. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the dark arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. Lumos! It worked! Ominous, you possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. <laughs> Between the two of us? I... Never mind. There's no clear way forward. Like a maze. Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted Revelio. to solve. Confringo! It, it closed, and there's more than one gate ahead. Then look closely at each Lumos. gate for clues. That's trap marks, looks so big. It's so dark in Confringo! The dial requires focus. Ah, uh, Noctua said the same. It may take practice to solve it. That didn't sound good. Salazar Slytherin didn't make this easy. Revelio! Um. Expelliarmus! Lumos! Would you, would you mind telling me how to do this? I said, I'm um, buried the script in deep with Hogwarts. I'm afraid I should lose my way around these stalkers. I am descendant of, and yet I feel unwelcome. Lying these braces in Korea is helping. I shan't lose heart. Talent by talent, I'll make my career not go wrong. This journal entry, it mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. 
Matching the symbols did open it. Was about to do that myself, but you got to it first. <clears throat> you're, nice work. You're a genius. Circle snake. Another gate. Seems Slytherin like to play games. Must run in the family. Look in a mirror, Sebastian. Revelio. That's promising. Another dial solved. Impressive. Nice work. I am impressive indeed. Have you seen my car? Lumos. It's gigantus. Confringo. <laughs> um, I fell the dial and struck my face. It was a real service, but I must find a way forward for my family's sake. We should not regret to inform the old edition. The screw must have proved that there's more to our legacy than we die. Ominous. Your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. She did. And she was my favorite person in the world for it. Lumos. Okay, so that I don't have. Revelio. But symbols is required for this one, so I'll do it. Lumos. Yeah, some some clue somewhere, right? Another, not the welcoming sort, was he? Excellent work. We're another step closer to the scriptorium. I'm just doing it at random, Sebastian. That will no IQ required. Literally. I spotted something ahead. Looks troubling. This whole place is troubling, but for my aunt's sake, we cannot stop now. Okay, can I? Extraordinary. This journey is painful, but a warning. I shall soon find us. We're going to discover an until Chief is spotting our house down the well. Something pain more than what is done, I know it. No. Not sure reference is painful and arduous challenges, but also rewards. Painful. That's the part I'm wary of. All I heard was rewards. Keep going. Something happened here uh, on the ground. The gate! I think we're locked in. Again! Oh, then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. Oh shit. That is a gruesome looking door. Last up, I'm laughing. I heard a scream and saw the tortured face. It's the only way forward with, uh, with her. I think it was Even I wanted to catch that now. I am. I have no one open whom to do so. That is a servant created a malicious challenge. Indeed. In the last cor 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 correspondence to my brother, I invited him here now. If he looked for me alone, I led him to his death. Despite our differences, I wish him no ill. Wish we had part of that one. Oh fuck. Okay. Ominous. A skeleton. And Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here, blocked by an unforgivable curse. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. Ominous, I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door, and Crucios etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? I'll ask him. He does seem a bit cross with you. I'll speak with him. Good. Work your magic, so to speak. Yeah. Let's just learn the curse. Wish we had some liquid luck. All of this could have been avoided. Lumos. I'm gonna cast it on you. Ominous. I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable things. I overheard you and Sebastian, and I won't do it. The Cruciatus curse is pure torture, I would know. Sebastian told me a little of what happened when you were young. Sounds as if you had no choice. Should have known he would have told you. And one always has a choice. I'm as guilty as the worst of my family. 
unforgivable curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for that I shall never forgive myself. That spells the reason I have no family left. You and Sebastian will need to sort out another solution. Okay. Sebastian, If you me. cast Crucio, you will regret it forever. Sebastian, teach me Crucio so I can just cast it on this, this obsessant, spoiled brat. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous! As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. <sighs> it's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast it if I have to. Very well, I don't want to learn the Crucio. Uh, I want to learn the Crucio, but you must cast it on me. Teach me, I want to learn the Crucio, but you must cast it on me. Teach me the Crucio curse and I'll cast it on you. I want to learn the curse, but I won't cast it on you. You need to cast it on me. I shan't forget this. There we go. <laughs> yes. The first of the three um, unforgivable curses is mine. My journey is finally starting as a dark wizard. Okay, Sebastian, let's do this. Ready? I'm ready. That pain, it was excruciating, but I'll survive. Let's keep moving. We made it. We found Salazar Slytherin Scriptorium. Yep, we did. Okay, hold on, I just wanna... <laughs> okay, um, we'll use this only on those that have a shield on them and they like, can't break, but... I can't believe we're here. Shut up, Tom. Sebastian, so ominous. There's a book just here. You found something. You two go ahead. Let me know what's in it. I'll wander around a bit. May I have a look? Hmm. Fifty uh, million old drink. I fear we shall never come to an accord. I cannot persuade even one of them for this reason. I had dared hope that Gorgic's thoughts were aligned with my own, that he understood why the uh, Caliber was soon needed to be exceptional, but he has fallen prey to the ridiculous notion that Muggleborn so somehow as capable as peer bloods. He was furious when I expressed my displeasure and his thoughts on the matter. Um, on the matter. Thoughts he had not yet put voice to. I, I tired of the discord and can no longer bear witness to the corridors full of inept children masquerading as witches and wizards. It is with heavy heart that I now know must. I must go from here. I shall place this the creature into a deep sleep in its chamber until it can be awakened by one who shares my views, a descendant willing to reverse the damage that the others have so carelessly wrought. One who shall rid the school of those unworthy of Hogwarts that would serve only to stain my legacy. So I think that is the basilisk that he is referring to. Yes, Sebastian. What do you think? Looks like a spell book of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spell book? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. It's breathtaking. Revelio! We shouldn't linger here. Let's find a way out, please. I don't want to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. Without both of you, we'd never have made it. The second of the three mini pockets where Salazar and Peter have uh, spent time making prize long term plans with respect to the student population, reflecting on disagreements he had with other uh, talents. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. Yeah, man. I 
see a way out. Yeah, me too. Best news I've heard all day. Ominous. About your aunt. Please, Sebastian. I meant what I said before. We swear, right now, Defendo. never to engage with anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you. Telling me there was an entrance, entrance right here. All the way, all the time, all along. Ah, they go off in the separate directions. Anyways, we're gonna leave this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. We finally have learned our first unforgivable curse. I'm truly happy about that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. Do subscribe if you're not, as always. And consider expressing your freedom of speech in the comment section down below. I would appreciate it. And I will reply as well, you know. A bonus. Dead for tat. Anyways, until then. Bye-bye.